So I originally wasn't going to talk about this, and hopefully by the end of the video, you will understand why, but a recent leak has appeared seemingly out of nowhere, claiming that Starfield is in rough shape. We are just going to dive straight into this one, and I'm going to try and keep this video as short as I possibly can, so please do drop the video a like for me very quickly. Consider subscribing if you're looking for a place to stay up to date on the latest Starfield news, leaks, rumours, speculation, and plenty of other Starfield content, but without any further hesitation, let's just get straight to the point. So yes, yeah, Starfield is apparently in rough shape according to this so-called leaker. First I'm going to go over what he said and then I'm going to tell you why it's an absolute pile of shit and you shouldn't believe it. This is what he had to say before Developer Direct. I don't usually have a source for any information, but I heard that Tango Gameworks will be putting out something you can play later today related to their Hi-Fi Rush game. I don't know much else besides that. Maybe this has previously been rumoured and I didn't see it. It doesn't matter if anyone believes me, I'm not looking for recognition. If this turns out correct, I will share more of what I was informed. So with that in mind, let's go to the Starfield stuff and we'll come back to this a little bit later. Microsoft lost tons and tons of money on Azure this year. They're asking all divisions to blunt the loss. One thing Microsoft has floated for Xbox is releasing Starfield before June of 2023. Redfall is still coming first and is in rough shape and still could probably use some more quality control. But it's still in better shape than Starfield. Bethesda wants more time with Starfield and if they get their way, Starfield will come in the fall of 2023. If Microsoft gets their way, it comes out in this physical year. If Starfield comes in June, expect it to be in rough shape. So right now, you know exactly what this so-called leak is saying, and in short, I'm going to tell you why this has a good 99% chance of being bullshit. I also want to mention, and I cannot stress this enough, I am only making this video because people keep asking me about this leak, and I really just want everyone to move past it. First and foremost, nobody knows who this dude is. This isn't a known leaker or an Xbox or Bethesda insider. Secondly, everything they mentioned about Hi-Fi Rush was already leaked and rumoured way before he said this. So he actually hasn't said anything here that wasn't already sort of public knowledge. It's that simple. There is next to nothing that backs these leaks up. If anything, the evidence suggests that Starfield is still raring to release in the first half of 2023, aka in early June or before then. Now firstly, why would Bethesda announce a standalone Starfield event, which they knew would hype us up just to confirm another delay? That personally doesn't make any sense to me. Secondly, this guy is saying that Microsoft's plan to win their money back is to force unfinished games out? Again, that doesn't make any sense to me. If anything, I feel like that would just lose the money. Imagine if the early reviews for Starfield were as bad as Cyberpunk's early reviews or Fallout 76's. That wouldn't make the money, that would lose the money and reputation. Lastly, the Starfield page on Bethesda's official website has very recently been updated to include multiple things such as support for purchases of Starfield, pre-orders of Starfield, refunds of Starfield, and a bunch more. And guess what? That website still says that the game is releasing in the first half of 2023. If the game is coming in full, why change your website like 9 months before release? Also, why not change the coming in the first half of 2023 thing to just say coming in 2023? Again, when you look at the evidence, these leaks just don't make sense. I have made an entire video going over all of this stuff in a lot more detail, basically just talking about why Starfield is probably coming sooner than we all think. If you want to check that out, it's there. But in short, what I'm saying is I do not believe this leak at all, and I don't think that you should either. Now look, I do believe that Bethesda ideally would love to work on Starfield for a longer time, but guess what? Every development team in the world feels that way nowadays. Now, I will be honest, I don't know anything about creating video games, I just play them and talk about them on YouTube. If you asked me to make a video game, I wouldn't even know where to start, but with that said, we have heard time and time again from video game devs that almost every game is in rough shape right up until release, and how it's crazy that a lot of video games can quickly come together overnight. So yeah, I believe that Starfield is not in perfect shape right now, otherwise it would be out. At the end of the day, again, I don't want to make this video too long. I just really wouldn't worry about this, I don't believe it, if you do, that's fine, but I am telling you please take this with a massive grain of salt, even if you do believe it. Yes, it's possible, could Starfield be delayed again? Of course it could, but so could every game nowadays. But when you look at everything that has happened lately with the showcase being announced, the Constellation videos coming every so often, the website updates and so much more, 
It just seems really obvious to me at any rate that Starfield is coming a lot sooner than we all think. Lastly, before we wrap up, I just want to say we have also heard that Starfield is finished and it's playable from start to finish and Bethesda are just fixing the bugs. I do expect Starfield to launch with a lot of bugs, but so did Oblivion, so did Fallout 3, Skyrim and Fallout 4. It simply would not be possible to create games on the scale of BGS games without any bugs, unless they want to work on it for a good 20 years, which let's be honest, nobody wants. So yes, yeah, Starfield will be buggy at launch, expect it, make no mistake about that. But as long as it isn't on the level of Cyberpunk or Fallout 76, where it looked and feels like the game was still halfway through development on their launch days, as long as it isn't like that, I won't mind a few bugs and glitches here and there, which will of course get fixed eventually. Anyway, that is my thoughts. I don't want to make this video super long, like I've already said about a hundred times, so we are going to leave it there. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Please do drop the video a like. And if you are new around here and you're looking for a place to stay up to date on Starfield leaks, rumors, speculation, information, and so much other Bethesda-focused content, consider subscribing because I cover it all over here. With that said, as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.